So you're wondering, what were the highest selling homes in Toronto in the month of July? Well, I'm gonna show you the top three. Find out right here, right now. Summer is typically a slow period for real estate, and Toronto's hot market is no exception. But when it comes to luxury homes, they still sell for prices that may astonish you. So let's dive right in and look at the top three highest selling homes in Toronto for the month of July. Just so we're all on the same page, for privacy reasons, I won't be sharing addresses for any of these properties. Let's start with the third highest selling home in Toronto, which was located in the Rosedale Moore Park area, near Mount Pleasant and St. Clair Avenue East. It sold for $6,450,000 and was listed for $6,950,000. So it sold for 93% of list price. And it was on the market for five days. It was a four plus one bedroom and six bath home less than five years old. And it was between 3,500 and 5,000 square feet. And it sat on a 40 foot by 132 foot lot. It had three car parking, which included a built-in garage for one car. It also had a finished walkout basement. Now look at that kitchen. I think the kitchen is the highlight of the home with the marble countertop that blends into the backsplash and the contrast of the dark cabinets and the hood that pop but with the subtle brass accents that aren't too overpowering. The primary bedroom is beautiful as well. With the pendant lighting on either side of the bed, it has much more of an impact than wall sconces or side table lamps. In the number two position is a home in the Forest Hill South area of Toronto, near Spadina and St. Clair West. It was listed for $6,995,000 and sold for 96% of asking for $6,750,000. It was a five bedroom, four bath home that sat on a 58 foot by 178 foot lot. It had an attached three car garage, but the basement was unfinished. As you can see from the images and the drone photos, it's a home rich with greenery. Unfortunately, we don't have any interior photos of this home as this listing was aimed at individuals looking to tear down and build. The value of the home was based on the lot size as well as the neighborhood. Now the neighborhood itself is one of Toronto's most desirable and prestigious areas to live in. So it's no surprise that the value of the home is highly connected with its location. By the way, if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know all there is to know about living in Toronto, including real estate plus all the fun stuff to do in the city, then subscribe and tap that bell so you can be the first to know about everything Toronto. And now for the highest selling home in Toronto for the month of July. This one is an absolute stunner. This home again is located in the Forest Hill South area near Avenue Road and St. Clair Avenue West. It was listed for $17,800,000 and it sold for $16,500,000. It's approximately 5,000 square feet with five plus one bedrooms and eight bathrooms and it sat on a 60 by 210 lot. It had a private drive and an attached five car our garage. No doubt this home is stunning and its interior is definitely something to dream about. But I absolutely love this home's outdoor space. It's meticulously designed and manicured and it's like an outdoor paradise. Something right out of a magazine. It's obvious the space is intended to entertain. So there you have it, the top selling homes in the city in the month of July. And if you want to find out what the top selling condos were, click the link above. Or if you want to know the top selling homes in the month of August, which should be out real soon, then subscribe and hit that bell and you'll be the first to know once the video is released. And if you're thinking of living or leaving Toronto, reach out to us anytime. Every day we get calls from people just like you planning their Toronto move. Whether you're moving in three days or in three months, we got you covered. Our team is dedicated to providing tailored solutions that match your needs and timeline to help make your move easy and stress-free. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and liking this video. And don't forget to tap that bell. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.